guys, my name is Eric Johnson. I am the creator and CEO of TeamZ. Very excited to be with you tonight. Tonight we're gonna to talk to you about how to get started right with TeamZ and become a power hour boss. Okay, so bear with me. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna go through a lot of content quickly. It, it's gonna maybe feel like you're sipping water through a fire hose. I apologize for that. We are recording the call. We're also live on Facebook now, so that'll be there. Immediately when the, when the um, webinar is over, you'll be able to find it on the TeamZ page on Facebook. But I want to take you guys through the whole process of how to set up your Teamsy account, how to crush a power hour, and what I mean by that is how you can connect with 20 people in about 15 minutes, okay? I'll show you how to start conversations, how to take those conversations, invite them to learn more about your business naturally through the course of those conversations, then how to follow up on those invites like a pro all the way through to you bring somebody from prospect all the way over to a member of your team. Okay, we'll do all of that. I'll show you how to do it in Teamsy. Um, then we'll do a Q and A at the end. So if you have questions, you can put them in the Q and A. It's either there or there, depending on your device. You see the Q and A button. You can load questions there, and I'll answer all those at the end. Sound good? All right. Well, let's just jump right in. In fact, first thing I want to do is I've got a, just a really short uh, presentation here. I want to go through with you really quick. So here's our topic again: get started right with Teamsy and become a power hour boss. By the way, after you've done this for a few days and start feeling really empowered by using the Teamsy system, please feel free to start using that hashtag because that's who you are, Power Hour Boss. Okay, my backstory for those of you guys who haven't met me before, I actually come from a background of business coaching and consulting. That is what I've been doing pretty much my whole grown-up life, um, is helping people build their business. And I've been doing it based on the philosophy of building relationships first. Okay, I stumbled into network marketing by accident, probably like a lot of you guys. Uh, I found some products that really helped me personally and I started sharing them because I was so happy with what, what was happening in my life. Um, and after a while, I became a distributor and started looking at this business opportunity as one where I saw that the sky was the limit. What an incredible opportunity for individuals to build a business with almost zero overhead and have unlimited potential. But as a business consultant, I knew that I wasn't gonna go anywhere unless I could leverage my time and be very efficient with the little bit of time that I had. So I started looking for professional tools to really help me build my business. And here's what I was looking for. I needed a system that would allow me in just one hour a day, because that's all I had, I wanted a way to stay in touch with all of my contacts. See, I already know how to build relationships, and I've already been teaching it, so I knew that the number one thing I needed to be doing was staying in touch with everybody. Also, I wanted to know when to contact them and when not to. In other words, I don't want to spend all day planning. I want a system that just li literally I can turn on and start connecting with people. Um, also, I want to know what to say to them. How do I start a conversation easily without spending all day thinking about the perfect message? Anybody get stuck on that? I call that the analysis paralysis, right? When you just like, you, you, can't, you can't pull the trigger because you can't figure out exactly what to say. Also, I needed a system where I could follow up seamlessly so that nobody ever fell through the cracks. I know you guys feel that one. That's a painful one, and it happens to everybody, right? If you don't have a system, it's bound to happen. You're bound to lose great prospects, and somebody else is going to pick them up. So I started looking for a system like this, and you guys know the, know the drill. Well, there's one more thing. One more thing that was essential. It needed to be easy to use because I'm really not good with technology. Anybody relate to that? I'm just not a tech type person. It's got to have like big easy buttons and be really easy to use. And, I, and so I went looking high and low for this. I went looking in other industries. I didn't find anything in our industry. I went looking in other industries thinking maybe there's something I could task over. I just couldn't find anything that was A, either, either um, easy to use. <laughs> there was nothing that wasn't overcomplicated. And also, I needed something that was focused on relationships. And I'm going to kind of pepper that through the presentation tonight. Teams is a little different. Our approach, it's more than just a, an application that helps you be efficient. It's actually an approach to the business. It's a different type of heart that we bring to the business. It's about serving others, focusing on helping people, and making sure that that comes before the sale or the recruit, if that makes sense. So I didn't find anything out there. So I ended up we ended up building it. That's why I'm going to show you Teams. We built it because it didn't exist. There was nothing like it. There was nothing out there helping people in our industry. There was nothing based in relationships. So we built it for you. Just a little stats on, on what's happened to Teamsy in the last couple of years. We've had more than 50,000 network marketers use Teamsy. We're in more than 50 networks now with, with customized versions of Teamsy. Some of you guys are using a customized version of Teamsy. 
Also, just so you know, the average active users right now are, are getting, they're averaging <laughs> a lot of average. Our active users are averaging 21 new customers and nine recruits over 90 days. Okay, that's what people are doing now. When I say active users, that's gonna be exactly, they're doing exactly what I'm gonna dem demonstrate for you tonight. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what an active user would look like. All right, let's jump out of here. I've got some action steps for you, but we'll do that at the end. Let's jump right into Teamsy and go for it. Where are you, Teamsy? There it is. Okay. So now you're looking at my Teamsy dashboard. I, I mentioned a minute ago we have more than 50 versions of Teamsy now. This is called Teamsy Standard. What I'm showing you now, it's kind of like the generic version. I know nobody likes the word generic anymore, but this is the version that kind of goes for everybody. It's real, uh, the, the terminology is our universal terms. Now you may be using um, a version of Teamsy that's custom tailored to your network. So it's going to look a little bit different, but the functionality is the same. So you'll be able to follow through. And this way I can teach all of you from the same platform. And depending on what network you're in, you'll still get all of the training tonight. Now, one thing I do want to mention, if you're not already using Teamsy, we do offer a 30 day free trial. Um, you go to teamsy.com, get the 30 day free trial. It's free, no strings attached. We don't ask for your business card or anything. And you have full 100% access for 30 days. Okay. Because we know two things. One, if you use it for 30 days, you're going to get great results, right? You're going to get great results. And two, if you use it, you're going to fall in love. You're going to get great results and fall in love because it's so fun to use. And then you can be our customer. That's great. It's a win-win for everybody. So go use it. But I will warn you that it is free, but you'll probably like it. Okay. All right. You ready? Let's get started. So when you're in your 30-day trial, when you first log in, it's going to bring you first into the setup wizard. The setup wizard is designed to help you, you know, set up your Teams account easily. Um, it's been dismissed here, and you might have dismissed it too. So to get it back, you just go to this little settings wheel in the top right, and you click setup wizard. You can go back into the setup wizard at any time um, to finish it or to redo it, okay? Okay, so what we're gonna do in setup wizard is three things. We're gonna set your income goal first. Once you put your income goal into Teamsy, Teamsy's gonna tell you what to do every day to hit it. Pretty cool, right? Because if you wanna grow your business big, you gotta make your focus small, right? You guys heard that? If you haven't heard that, that's a good one, write it down. Number two, we're gonna help you create a powerful why. This is important. This is important. More than half the people in this business will quit in the first year because they don't understand their why. So we put it right in the setup wizard. We're going to help you through it. We'll demystify it and get your why on your Teamsy dashboard from day one. And then we're going to get all your contacts imported into Teamsy all in one place, super mega organized, no more looking after looking for the missing notepad with somebody's name on it or, or the spreadsheet you haven't updated in six weeks. None of that stuff anymore. Okay, it's all gonna be in one place, super mega organized. All right, so let's do it. I'm gonna click start. Step one, set your income goal. When you get to this page, you'll just have a blank space. I put 150,000 in as my goal. This is the income level I'd like to be at 12 months from now. Okay, so put in the amount that you'd like to be at 12 months from now. Now, one little caveat here. If you are already making significant income from your business, I want you to put the difference in income. So in other words, if you're making $200,000 a year now and you want your goal is 300,000, then what you're gonna put here on this page is the difference, 100,000. Make sense? Okay, great. So once you've got your number in there, click continue, go to the next page. So now Teamsy has my goal of 150 and it's telling me basically I need to connect with 4,348 people over the next 12 months to hit my goal. Okay, so it's calculated how much activity this will require. All right, so that's a pretty big number, right? 4,348, but if I need to eat an elephant, how do I do it? Anyone know this one? One bite at a time, right? If I need to eat an elephant, I do it one bite at a time. The next page is the breakdown page and this breaks it down for me. First, it splits it into three groups, prospects, customers, and distributors on my team. Then it breaks it down yearly, monthly, weekly, and daily. So that huge number, which was 4,348, now breaks down to a suggested daily game plan of connecting with nine prospects each day. You see right here, I'm looking right there. Six customers each day and four distributors on my team each day. That's 19 people each day, five days a week. Okay, 
19 people. I can do that in 15 minutes in Teamsy and I'll show you guys in a little bit. Now, these are suggested numbers. That means you can change them. Let's say you don't have any distributors, you're brand new, so you can make that a zero and then take that four and carry it over to the prospects number, okay? Same thing if you've got no customers, you can make that a zero and then you could put them all over here, okay? You can change these however you want. Teams is gonna start out by giving you what we consider the perfect mix for somebody who's been in this business and has a team. Now, I'm gonna change these back. Wait, I don't want 20, 10. What was it, six and four? I'll put these back to what they were. Now, notice uh, this is something about me that you probably should know is that this was a nine, but I made it 10 because I want these to add up to an even number. That's just me. I'm kind of OCD like that. So now, now my goal is 20. 20 a day is my goal. 10 prospects, six customers, four distributors. That's where I'm gonna leave it. Now the next goals here are your invites. So there's a goal of three. That's kind of like the default goal is three invites a day. Now, what is what the heck are invites and what are these 10 prospect connects? Okay, so I just wanna clarify this for you guys. When I say connect with a prospect, we are not inviting them, we are not recruiting them or trying to sell them. We're just connecting. The goal of the connect is just to make their day. We call it the get in the make someone's day mindset. The goal is just to say hello and make their day. And if you do it right, first of all, it's pretty much effortless on your part and most people will respond. Now you have an opportunity to have a real conversation with them, okay? Now out of all of those connects, the 10 plus the six plus the four, I'm hoping for three opportunities today to invite people to learn about the business. Okay, so the conversations will reveal who's interested in learning more right now and who's, who's not interested in learning more right now and I'll find three out of 20. Make sense? Okay, great. So those are invites and I'll show you how to do that too in the training tonight. And then ads are just new people we're putting on the list. Just getting in the habit of putting new people on the list every day. Okay, so you can, once you've got all these goals right the way you want them, click continue and it configures the dashboard of Teamsy to your goals. Every one of you will have a custom dashboard with your goals which is pretty cool. Now we're gonna find your why. This is the next piece. Now what's, what's crazy about finding your why is that so many people feel like this is something mystical. Like you gotta to go to um, Sedona and get in a sweat lodge, right? And, and, and find your inner peace and your inner child to get your why. The, thing, the truth is, is it's not that mystical. You, you already know your why. It's, you've got it in your heart already. It's just bringing it out so that it's in front of you, okay? And just digging it out of yourself. That's why we talk finding your why or revealing your why or, or unleashing your why. Like those are the different words we use because you already have it, okay? And I'm gonna take you through a really simple process to help you discover that. But this is why it's so important. It's super important that you do this because one out of two people quit this business in their first year, right? And then the second and third years, it's even higher. People quit left and right. And why do you think they quit? Do you think there's anything wrong with them? Do you think they're not cut out for success? Do you think the opportunity is not as good as it once was? I mean, none of that's true, right? Here's the truth of the matter, guys, is that we're wired to quit. When times get tough, we quit. When we get bored, we quit. Why? Because we don't have a reason not to. There's no compelling reason not to, so we'll quit. This is why, no pun intended, you need your why, okay? You need to know why you're in this game to win it. You need a reason to stick to it, otherwise you'll quit. So let me take you through this process. It's so important, that's why we built it right into the Teamsy help, um, what do we call this, the setup wizard. I'll take you through this process really quick. Five questions, just to get you thinking, okay? Just to get you thinking, so that you can write your first why statement. That's something that you'll refine at least once a year as you go into your business. Now, first question is this, just like it says here in the destru dis uh, destructions, in the instructions, be honest and real. Okay, this is just for you. Nobody's gonna see this but you. I'm gonna share my story as an example, okay? Just so you have an idea of the process. Why did you become a distributor? First question, why did you become a distributor? In my case, and I shared a little bit of this in the beginning, I, uh, I found some products that, that transformed my health. I mean, unbelievable change in my life, in my life, quality of life. Lost a bunch of weight, got strong, felt healthy and vital. And I was excited about it. I was already sharing it with people and not getting paid for it. My wife was like, dummy, go, get, go be a distributor so that people will pay you for what you're already doing. So I did, made sense. Next question, what do you hope to accomplish? Now in my case, I just wanted to make $500 a month extra money. Okay, I don't know if you guys can relate to that, but at that moment in my life, 
that was a big deal. If I could make $500 a month extra money, that I was in for that. Third question, why is that important to you? Why is that important to you? So the truth is, is I didn't want to make $500 a month extra money so I could go spend it. I just wanted to save it. I wanted to put it in the bank. And just so you guys have some context of where I was in, in my story. See, everybody has a story when they answer these questions, right? Um, I told you that I'm, I come from a background of coaching and consulting, and I had been working in that business since 2002, primarily with real estate people. That was the primary business. So that industry was growing, 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 booming. I mean, it, real estate was booming. There, there was no bottom, right? It was just going to keep going up. And, uh, and we were helping people take advantage of that and become more and more and more successful. And then in two, the end of 2008, when the Great Recession hit, boom, that business just died overnight. I mean, it was a precipitous fall, not just for us, for a lot of people in the, in the country, right? And uh, eventually I was laid off from my job and I had to go try to find work and everyone in the country, it seemed like, was trying to find work and it was a really scary time for us. And, you know, I have to just, I have to express my incredible gratitude because by God's good grace, we made it through that recession intact. We didn't lose our home or anything, but it was still very tough and scary. We, we hung on by our fingernails, you know, and um, we used our savings up during the couple of months where I was looking for work and um, we never saved again. We just never saved again. Not a penny, not a penny. Meanwhile, here, fast forward six years, I'm filling out my why and going through these questions, just like you guys are going to go through these questions. And I realized I haven't saved money in that entire six years, not a penny. And so putting $500 in the, a month in the bank was really exciting. It was like a huge moral victory for me if I could do that. Does that make sense? And so even though it doesn't sound like a big goal, it was a big deal for me to start something that might put that money in the bank. Next question. What would achieving this mean for you and your family? What would achieving this mean for you and your family? Again, I don't know what's, what you want to do, what you're hoping to achieve. Maybe you want to take your kids to, to uh, Disney World. Maybe you want to get out of debt. Maybe you want to, I don't know, whatever, whatever it is. In my case, I wanted to save $500 a month. Why? Because I wanted to buy a new house. Truth be told, I just wanted to buy us a new house. Our house, we'd outgrown it. My wife and I have four kids and dogs. <laughs> And we were, every single one of us was on top of each other, sharing rooms. We were just on top of each other. And it was, it was, you know, our life was great, but I dreamt about having a little bit more space. I wanted to have my own office so I could build my business, the whole deal. And so that's what achieving that would mean for us is that maybe we could buy a new house. That was my, my hope and my dream. Now the next question, why is that meaningful? How does this make you feel? Why is that meaningful? How does this make you feel? This is where I have to be honest with you guys because I struggled with this one. I struggled with this one because I don't know if buying a new home or wanting more space is meaningful. I think it might, I don't know if it's meaningful, but here's one thing that I discovered as I really thought about this. I discovered something that I had never allowed myself to think consciously, though I knew it to be true. The home was more symbolic than anything, symbolic of the family. And what I needed was not a new home, but a new life with my family. You see, I was always working, always working, and never I just wasn't present for them. I just wasn't around. I'd get up in the morning and I'd, I'd kiss my kids goodbye. They were still in their pajamas. You know, and I'd go to work and I would work and I would do what I thought felt like I needed to do, which was to provide materially for my family. And then I would come home and my kids were already done with dinner, getting ready for bed. I would kiss them goodnight. That was my relationship with them. I'd spend an hour a day with my wife, maybe. Um, and usually we had so much business to conduct to catch up on that that was our time. You know, and I, and I just kept thinking, wow, I don't know how this could ever change because we're not even able to save money. I don't have any time to be with my family. I just need to be working all the time to, to make sure that they have what they need. And, and it was kind of a brutal realization to realize that my role was to not, my role to support my family was that I wasn't going to get to be part of it. And, so as I started thinking about this and I started thinking about this business opportunity that just five minutes ago, I did just to make extra money. Now I've been thinking about it for five minutes and my mind is blown. I'm having these light bulbs pop, go off in my head. Here's what I realized. 
I would, I was thinking about my network marketing as a side gig, as a, as a side hustle, right? As extra money. I realized something. I was stuck in my job. There was nowhere for me to go. I was at the very top of my career path and yet we weren't getting ahead and I couldn't work more because I was already working the maximum. Meanwhile, I looked over at my network marketing business and realized there's no limit to where I can go with this. The sky's the limit. Unlimited potential, unlimited earning, flexible hours. This had it all. And here's what happened to me going through this process. I realized something. I started thinking about my career job as my extra money. And I started focusing on my business as my primary vehicle. Huge aha for me. As soon as I looked at my, what was a comfortable six-figure salary as extra, everything changed. And I was able to write my first why statement just based on this thought process, you guys. And I'm going to share it with you here. It's actually the sample text in Teamsy. When you write yours, you'll actually type over mine. But this was it. I created this first statement, my why, to create a life where I never have to worry about money again. I enjoy quality time with my family and I'm present for my children on a daily basis. I'm healthy and I'm full of energy. And you know, I didn't write this down, but in that first sentence, it was heavily implied to me. I never have to worry about getting laid off or fired again, <laughs> right? Because that was really the fear, right? So I wanted to create a life where I never have to worry about money again, enjoy quality time with my family, be present for my children every single day. And I wrote this down, put it, well, I typed it up, right? And it's in front of me every day and it changed everything. As soon as this was, this was set down in words, oh my gosh, there was no going back. Now, if I decided I didn't want to do my income producing activities today, which by the way, now that I had Teamsy was super easy to do, I was literally making a decision between staying stuck in my current life or choosing to go towards my new one. And the, that's what the why does is it, it puts the reason why the 20, 30 minutes of, of discomfort is so worth it. And it confronts you with the fact that if you don't feel like doing it, you are choosing to stay stuck. It's so powerful. You, got, you can't skip this. Now for me, within three months of writing this down, I left my job, focused on my business. I had nowhere to work. I had literally just enough money to go buy a shed, which I got at Home Depot. I got a shed, you guys, like the ones you store your lawnmower in, threw it in my backyard on the dirt, ran an extension cord out. I built a desk out of an old closet door and I started building my business in the shed. We called it my shoffice, my shed quarters in the backyard. It wasn't one of these elegant ones you see on, on you know, Better Homes and Gardens. I mean, it was like a sh wood with nails sticking out of the ceiling. <laughs> But the why was there and it drove me. It drove me to make it happen. Don't skip this. Don't let your team skip it. You get somebody new on your team, take them to Teams. You take them through this process. Ask them these questions. Help them uncover their why. Redo it every year yourself. Figure out what it is that will drive you because here's what I'm going to tell you. Is things are going to happen in your life that will sidetrack you. Statistically, every four months, something big happens to us that sidetracks us. But it doesn't even have to be big. Honestly, sometimes you just get bored and that is just as bad as a big thing. That'll sidetrack you just as much. You need to stick to it. Figure out why you're in this business and get it done. You with me? Okay. Whatever you put in this last box, when you click continue, we'll save to your dashboard. Okay? All right. And then you look at it every day and read it out loud before you do your power hour. Last step for setting this thing up, we're going to get your contacts into Teamsy. There's some videos here to help you. Um, there's also more videos on our help center. Um, from the Teamsy where you can, there's more videos. There's also written FAQs if you'd rather read the instructions. And we've also got a team that will help you. If you send us a message, they'll help you through anything, okay? Here's what I want you to do though. As you're importing your contacts, the first people you want in is your downline. Get your team in first, okay? Next will be your customers. And finally, the, the, the next list you want are your Facebook friends. Downline, then customers, then Facebook friends. Do it in that order and it'll come in as clean as possible. Okay. You can get all your Facebook friends in here, which is awesome. Then you're not like cherry picking through Facebook, trying to figure out who to connect with. It'll be in one place organized. Okay. Also, if you have other lists or other data somewhere, you can bring all those in as a CSV. All right. So now we're all ready to go. There's one more step that I want to show you for setup. 
before we get started. And it's just, uh, we rank every, you can see everybody has a, has a number in front of them, five, three, 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 right? So I'm gonna jump over to the team page. The team page is, is like where your CRM lives inside Teamsy. See, there's the whole list of everybody. Now, when you do an import into Teamsy with a bulk list, it's gonna drop you on this page in rank mode. I'll turn it on right here from this menu, rank mode. Basically what we do is we give everybody a rank, five stars to one star, okay? In rank mode, you can scroll through the list quickly and rank people. So you'll find when you first come in here, everybody defaults to a three star. And you're gonna go through and look for the people that you wanna make fours or, or even fives, okay? And so the reason we do this is because in order to work relationships, you need to talk to the best people, the warmest people more often than the cold people, right? You wanna spend more energy on the people most likely. It's like if you're looking at fruit trees and one tree was covered in fruit and the other tree was green and had, was just budding, you would spend more time picking the fruit from the tree that already has fruit and spend just a little time cultivating the other trees that hadn't borne fruit yet. Does that make sense? So we wanna prioritize our people so that we can spend more time with them. And we do this with the five star ranking. So just so you know, five stars, people that are five stars are gonna come back up on your dashboard every single 30, every month, every 30 days they come back. Four star people come up every 60 days. Okay, three star people, everyone's a three star to start because you don't know which way they're gonna go. Most of your list will probably be three stars. They come up every 90 days, okay? Two-star people every 120 days. You get the idea? So the more stars, the more often you're gonna to talk to them. Once you've done this one time, you never have to plan ever. Teamsy does all the planning for you. Every single day, it automatically creates your up next list for your power hour, who you're supposed to connect with next. It automatically cycles people through your list based on the number of stars that you gave them. Make sense? So now we're totally ready to crush a power hour. Let me show you how this works. I'm on the Teamsy dashboard now. Just want to show you first today's activities. These are the goals that we set for our daily goals. So here it is. I've done zero so far, but my goal is to connect with 10 prospects, six customers, and four distributors. Okay, so now I'm going to go after those right now in my power hour. See in the middle of the page where it says power hour, this is where we do our work. Super easy. The left side has my four lists, prospects, customers, distributors, and follow-ups, okay? Each list only shows me five names at a time on purpose, so I can't get overwhelmed by the fact that I have thousands of people to connect with, right? Only five at a time, and it, and it minimizes my ability to skip around on people. It keeps me focused. It keeps me from being overwhelmed, and it keeps me focused. In the power hour, we're gonna work from left to right. I'm gonna start with prospects first, always. Always start with your prospects first. If you get caught up following up with the people you've already got started then you're, and not doing the prospect connects, your pipeline's going to run dry. You don't want to do that. Let's do this. First person on my list is Jay. Now I'm going to connect with Jay. And I'm planning on sending her a message on Facebook, which I have open right here. Okay? Right there. I'm going to send her a message in a second. Now here's the part, part where a lot of people get stuck is they don't understand or don't know what the heck to say to Jay. Anyone get stuck with that? <laughs> like, what am I going to say? All right. So if you ever get stuck with that, I just want you to know I used to too. And so over years, I refined some, some really simple relational scripts that are just so easy to send and just get the conversation started. Now, I don't believe in having a scripted conversation, but I use scripts to quickly and efficiently send that first message so I can start a conversation with somebody. Make sense? Now, right here in the bottom of this, of this box, so on the left side were our lists, on the right side is where we log what we're doing so that it actually tracks as we go. Right here in the middle of that box is a button that says scripts. I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna grab a Facebook script, and I'm just gonna grab this very first one, which is called Connect One, Connect One. And it says, this is what it says. Hi, Jane, just stopping by to say hello. How are you? I hope your day is awesome. It's really simple. It's a make someone's day script. That's the only goal that we have here is to make her day, get her to smile, and hopefully she'll respond and we can have a conversation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on copy script. Just click out of there. Now, I like to paste it right into Teamsy so I can do my editing here and not accidentally send it on Facebook. So look, I'm going to change the name to Hi, Jay. I actually like the way it sounds. It sounds like me because I wrote it. You guys may want to, you know, modify the touch. I'll put a smiley face in there. Why not? I like emoticons. You guys like emoticons? Um, okay. 
That's a Facebook message. Now what I'm gonna do real quick is, this is ready, what I'm gonna, now it's all ready to go. So I'm just gonna copy this real quick. It takes a second. I'm gonna to go to Facebook and send the message. You actually have to send the message through Facebook because Facebook doesn't allow you to do it, you know, through any other app. Here we go, there she is. I'm gonna paste that message in. We've got it all ready to go and send it. Just stop by to say, hello, how are you? Hope your day's awesome, boom, done, sent. Go back to Teamsy, it's all ready to log. I'm just gonna click log connect. See the big blue button, the log connect. So now I've sent it and logged it. Teamsy told me who to connect with. It, it gave me an idea of what to say. I sent it and logged it. Next person on my list is Calvin. Okay, and you notice on the dashboard now I have one because I sent one. Calvin's next. Well, I'm just gonna use that same script. I'll paste it right in there, change the name. Okay, you get the idea? I'll go back to Facebook. Copy that, go back to Facebook, send it, okay? Then I'll go to Dion, next person on my list, I'll do the same thing. Do you guys see how I can do 20 and 15 minutes now? You see how easy this is? People, are, people ask me, well, do you use the same script? You can use a different script if you want. There's other ones in here. Look, I'd, I would send that in Facebook, log it, see how quick it is? Okay, there's other scripts. You can grab different ones like this. Uh, here's a great one. Hi Jane, I saw you cross my Facebook feed and thought I'd say hello. How are you? Hope your day's awesome. Simple, right? Um, I did, somebody did tell me once they, know, they didn't never tell somebody have an awesome day, so they say have a great day. Like that stuff doesn't matter. However you wanna make it sound like you, that's great. Just don't change it too much because these are refined to work great. Okay, when you're done with your prospects, let's say we keep going down our list, we get all 10 done. Next, we're gonna toggle to the next list, which is, pros which is customers. So when we're done with one list, that circle will be all the way solid. And then we go to the next one. Customers, same thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna message Andy, I'll go to scripts, I'm gonna grab a great script for customers. Now you notice Teams, he already knows we're on customers, it gives me different scripts. Here's a basic one. Um, Hi John, how are you enjoying the products? Send me an update, let me know how it can be of help. Boom. I'm just gonna paste that in there. See how quick and easy this is? We change the name. Great, how are you enjoying Whatever product this person's purchased. Lash Boost. I know I got a couple, I saw a couple names I recognized on here as RF. Okay, so whatever your product is, right? You can put it in there. Boom, send me an update. Let me know how I can be of help. Simple, okay? Log it, boom. Same thing, you're gonna do the same thing, guys, on these. You're gonna go down your list. You're gonna connect, in this case, with six customers. You're gonna connect with your customers until you're done with your goal for the day. Now, it's so important to be in touch with customers. A lot of people understand why they're, why they're connecting with prospects, and then they kind of are like, why do I need to talk to my customers socially like this? I want you guys to know, you don't need, every time you connect with a customer, it doesn't need to be specific about the product they're ordering or their orders. It's better just to stay in touch. Now, if you keep in good touch with your customers, a couple of cool things happen. First of all, if you're in regular contact with your customers, they will order more. They will, it's just true. They will order more and they will stay, they, you'll retain them longer on their, on their auto ships, on their automatic orders. They'll stay longer on those. Your retention goes up and your volume goes up. If you guys get your team into the Teamsy free trial for 30 days and get them connecting with customers, you're gonna see that team volume go up significantly in your first month. And the other reason why you need to be in touch with the customers is the best source for a new customer is a current customer. You guys know this or you should know this. There's no better way to find a new customer than from a current customer because people who are using products and love them, they talk about them. They're out talking, telling people about them already. If you're in touch with your customers who are already talking to people about your products, then you can have an opportunity to get introduced to the people they're talking to. That is your goal, to be present for them, to help them and get introduced to the people they're talking to so you can help them. They have already got people excited, but your customer isn't isn't the expert like you are. They need your help to really help those people connect with those products. Um, and hello, that's gonna get you new customers. If you have a great customer who brings you several people, you might have just uncovered a new distributor. Hello, right? Okay, it starts with being in contact with your customers. When you're done with your goal for the day for customer connects, we go to distributors. This is your team. You need to stay in touch with your team. Why do we call this product Teamsy? It's about your team. You need to build 
community. You need to build a family. You need to create a culture for your team. And it starts with connecting one-on-one. -on -one. I know you've got a Facebook page for your team. Great. Do you do Zoom training calls for your team? Awesome. That's not a substitute for one-on-one -on -one connecting, right? Let Teams be your guide. It will take you a few seconds to send a text or heartfelt message to somebody that will literally make their day and it will improve the retention and the productivity of your team by loads, okay? Prospects, customers, distributors. Our example was 20, literally 15 minutes, you're done, okay? Next, follow-ups. Notice I've got an empty list for follow-ups. There's nobody there. How do I get people on the follow-ups list? So this is important because the follow-ups list is not automatic in Teams. You have to set follow-ups to put people on this list. So who do I set follow-ups with? The truth is, is I don't need to set follow-ups for the majority of people because they'll just come back on the list. If I connect with Ivan and he doesn't respond, I don't need to follow up with him. He'll come back on the list in a few months. Okay? Make sense? Or if we have a conversation that goes nowhere, it just fizzles out, I don't need to set a follow-up. He's going to come back on my list automatically. Where I'm going to set a follow-up is when I'm talking to somebody and I've uncovered some interest and I invite them to something about my business. Now I'm going to put them on my follow-up list and I'm going to follow up like a pro. Let me show you how to do it. So we talked to Jay. We sent a message out to my friend Jay. Jay and I are connecting back and forth, catching up. Um, she expresses a little bit of interest in what I'm doing. I say, let's jump on a, let's jump on a quick call so I can, I can figure out what you need and you know, maybe I can help. We jump on a call. We're starting to talk a little bit. I'm sharing my story. She's interested in learning more. Great. I said, great. Jay, listen, tonight my team, this is just an example, okay? Jay, tonight my team is having um, a virtual event where there's a bunch of people going to be sharing the stories. So they're going to be talking about the specific business opportunity. And um, I think it would be a great introduction for you into the business. and just to see if it's a fit for you. She says, oh, that sounds great. Awesome. Here's what I'm going to do, Jay. I'll email you the link to that, and then I'll connect with you tomorrow and see if you have any questions. She says, perfect. Great. So how do I do all that in Teamsy? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look her up in the lookup bar. She's not on my dashboard anymore. That takes me to her record. Here she is. So now I'm going to click this big connect box. It opens up the connect box just like on the dashboard. Okay. Now this time what I'm going to do, so I'm sending her an email, right? See where it says invite right here on the bottom left? I'm gonna click that. Now it defaults to connect, but this isn't the connect that I'm logging. I'm gonna log uh, a business opportunity meeting, right? So I'm gonna click that, boom. Cause that's what I'm inviting her to. So I'm gonna call it biz op invite. Just a little note so I know what it is. Now before I log this on her record, I need to set a follow-up so that she'll go over to my follow-ups list. See, she's not coming back on my dashboard for 30 days. So I'm going to click where it says follow up right here. And I'm just going to set one for tomorrow. Now, there's a few preset times, and then, or you can do a custom any date. I'm going to set it for tomorrow. Now when I log this, it's logged, and she's set for the follow up. When I go to my dashboard now, check it out. I've got an invite on the dashboard, so you can see that I logged an invite. And when I go to my follow-ups list, there she is. That's how I put somebody on my follow-ups list, okay? And I've logged an invite with her. So remember the goal was out of 20 connects to create enough conversations that I invite three people. And I'm putting those after I invite them to something, to try a product, to come to an event, to go to a coffee, to get on a three-way call, whatever it is I'm inviting them to based on what's appropriate. And then I put them on my follow-ups list and I start following up like a pro. Now let me show you guys how to follow up really quickly. And then we'll start doing some Q&A. So when I come to do my follow-ups list, here I am on my follow-ups list and I get to Jay, it works just like a regular connect. I'm gonna to go to scripts, I'm gonna grab Facebook, and now I'm gonna grab a follow-up. Now I've got 10 proven follow-up scripts in here loaded up for you, okay? So I'm gonna grab one of those. Let me just close this shade because that sunbeam is really getting me. It's gonna change my, change this to red in here, but that's better, right? Yeah. Okay, so here's my follow-up script. I'm gonna copy it just like I did the other script. The script is, um, hi Jane, just checking in like I promised I would. What questions do you have for me? All right, I'm gonna change the name to Jay, <laughs> right? Ready to go, we'll copy that. I'll toggle over to Facebook and I'm gonna send her that message. It's just like sending a, a connect, right? But it's a follow-up. Boom, sent. Okay, great. Now, 
That's sent. Now I'm going to log it in Teamsy. Now this is really important. Don't miss this part. When I log my follow-up, before I hit log connect, I need to set my next follow-up. Otherwise, she doesn't stay on my follow-ups list. I got to always set a new follow-up so she stays on my follow-ups list. I'll put her back in for tomorrow. Okay. I want to keep her on my follow-ups list every time I follow up with her until she converts. And I know a lot of you guys will typically follow up maybe three times and feel like you're doing a great job. But I'm here to tell you that 80% of all sales happen between the seventh and the tenth follow-up. Have you guys ever heard that before? 80% happen between the seventh and the tenth follow-up, which means that you need to be following up 10 times consistently if you want to see conversions. And I know that <laughs> I know, I know you guys are like, what? He's crazy. Here's the thing though. I want you guys to understand this is if you don't follow up that many times, the vast majority of them won't convert, at least not with you. They may very, may well convert with somebody else who picks them up a little bit longer in the process. But I want you guys to know if you have a heart to serve, if you're here because you want to change people's lives and really help them, and you don't follow up 10 times because you're afraid of being annoying to people, right? Is that you? Probably. But if you have a really, really, really have a heart to help them, until they make that purchase, you have no way to help them, right? It doesn't matter how great your products are or how great your company is. You can't help them until they make that first commitment. And if 80% of them won't do it until you followed up seven to 10 times, you need to understand that the following, following up is the only thing you have available to you. It's the only tool you have to help people at least get them to the first step. That's why I always say following up is an act of love. Following up is an act of love. If you're in the people loving business and you're here to help people, you have to follow up so that you have to love them through that process so that they can get started. Put it on a little sticky note. I don't care. Put it next to your computer. Following up is an act of love. Change your mindset. Now, here's the good news. You don't have to be annoying when you follow up and I'll teach you really quickly. Do I have time? I guess I have time if I do it fast. I'll teach you really quickly how to follow up without being annoying. Are you ready? Make sure you're taking notes. This is your good. Two principles. If you follow these, you will never be annoying when you follow up. First principle is never ask them to do anything when you follow up. Don't ask them to do anything. Don't ask them to call you back or text you back or RSVP or whatever. Don't ask them to do anything when you follow up. Just follow up to remind them of your conversation, but don't ask them to do anything, okay? Because that is annoying. Number two. Number two, your follow-up needs to be in written form, like, you know, typed out. They need to be able to read it, okay? That's number one. And it has to be short enough they can read it on the lock screen of their phone without opening the message. So they need to be able to read it, like, at a glance. And they're not going to respond, so they're not going to open your message. So make it easy on them. Let them just see it, boom, on the screen. It's really important. If you sit, leave somebody a voice message, super annoying. Oh my gosh. If you send me a voice, I'm telling you guys right now because people message me all the time. If you send me a Facebook message, I'll see it immediately and probably respond within 20 minutes. If you send me a voice message, it's going to wait all day until I'm in a convenient place where I can put my phone up to my ear and listen to it. It's going to wait all day. It's so annoying to have to go listen to a voice message. It's the worst. So send it, make it easy on them. And here's the thing I want you guys to know. The vast majority of people will not, will not respond to the first five or six follow-ups. And it's not because there's anything wrong. They like you. They respect you. They're excited about the opportunity. It's just the way the mind works, okay? It's just the way the mind works. Their mind is going to find reasons to keep them away from talking to you because it's trying to protect them from something scary, okay? This is why 80% of sales happen after seven to 10 follow-ups. It's just the way the mind works. So you have to love them through that process and help them through that process by staying in touch. I put 10 scripts in Teamsy for you. You literally can just copy and paste those. All the science is in those. But if you follow these two principles, okay, don't ask them to do anything. Keep it short and sweet and make sure it's typed in so they can see it on the lock screen without opening it. Then you won't be annoying. What will happen is after five or six follow-ups, people will thank you. They'll say, thank you. Thank you for staying in touch with me. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry I haven't responded. And they'll tell you all the stuff that's been going on in their life. There's always something going on, right? People will thank you for following up if you do it this way. Make sense? So go try it. Go use those scripts and try it. And just remember, in Teamsy, what you're going to do is every single day when you do your power hour, 
Now I've shown you enough that you know what to do. You're going to go through your prospects list. Boom, hit your goal for the day, sending out messages. You're going to go through your customers list. Boom, hit your goal for the day, sending out messages. Go to your distributors. Boom, hit your goal for the day, sending out messages. Go to your follow-ups list. Work down your follow-ups list, sending the next follow-up to everyone on the list. Okay? That's your power hour. After about three weeks, your follow-ups list will be full and it will take you 15 to 30 minutes to do the first three lists and 15 to 30 minutes to send your follow-ups. That's your power hour. Now you will need to block a second hour somewhere in the day to answer all the messages and have the conversations you've started. But man, you'll create so much momentum in your business. Okay, so let's finish Jay off. She's now fast forward a few weeks. She's signed up. I followed up 10 times. She's signed up. How do we finish her off in the system? And then we'll start doing Q&A. So start putting your questions in the Q&A now if you have any and I'll answer them. Look her up again to bring me to her record. What I'll do first is log the sale. See where it says sale under her name? I'm going to click it. And this sale type dropdown will be different based on your network. Okay, so I'm just going to put in distributor kit, save. I'm not tracking like uh, commissions or volume or anything. I just want to know that she purchased so that I can track on my business page my statistics. Because as I forecast my business, I'm going to change my goals over time based on how well I do, how many sales I get per, how many connects I send out. Make sense? Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll move her member type from prospect over to distributor by clicking on it. And then distributor type, personally sponsored, boom. Now she's on my team. Now I'm gonna to continue to connect with Jay, but she won't be on prospects anymore. She'll be on my distributors list. Pretty cool, right? Okay, and that's how you do it. That's how you crush a power hour in Teamsy. Okay, there's a lot more you can learn than I could, had time to show you tonight. You go over here to the Help Center in Teamsy, and there's different videos and webinars and archived um, FAQs and stuff that you can learn more about how to use the system. Okay, let me go ahead and take a look at the Q&A real quick. I see I've got one in there. Here we go. Laura asks, sorry, Laura, I had to take a sip. I'm losing my voice. As I add friends on Facebook, I am guessing this does not interface to Teamsy, so do I manually add to Teamsy or re-download? Great question. All right, so you're gonna do your bulk import to Teamsy, great. Now, you have to, the best practice, Laura, is to go, as you make friends on a daily basis, click this little purple add person right here and add them in. I already, I already deleted your message. I think your name was Finney, I'm trying to remember. Okay, boom. See how easy it was to add you in? Now I've added you in. I can put my Facebook tag on there. So I, oops, <laughs> too rapid for myself. I'm having trouble getting that tag to grab for me. Okay, there's my Facebook friend. It doesn't wanna work for me right now, probably because I'm, I'm on Zoom, but you get the idea, you can tag them. Okay, so I've added you now to my list. And the reason why I wanna do it that way, that's the best practice, is because now I'm getting my ad credits, my goals three day. Now, could you do another bulk import every once in a while if you fall behind? Absolutely, and the good news, Laura, is that Facebook recently, because they got in trouble, they recently changed the way they, they do the export of your list, and it's so easy to do now. <laughs> it's so great. Because before you had, sometimes you had to wait two weeks to get it. So now it's really easy to do an import with Facebook anytime. But you won't get credit for those bulk imports. They won't show up as ads on your dashboard like this. Okay, I uh, see there's a couple other questions. Um, Tanya says, I have three Facebook pages. Can all three friends lists be integrated into Teamsy? Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely, you can do that. Now, if they're Facebook pages, now if they're if they're um, if they're like pages or business pages, that's a little bit different, Tanya, because Facebook does not export those lists. They only export your Facebook friends. They won't export your like for lists. And if you go look at the at the terms and conditions of Facebook business pages, the people who like your business page are not considered your contacts. According to, team, according to Facebook, they're considered um, property of Facebook. That's why they won't export those lists for you. So if you're working on Facebook, oh, they're personal pages, great. So then I'll stop talking about this. Okay, no problem. Yep, do it all the same way and put them in. And if some of those people are the same, they won't import twice, okay? It won't, won't duplicate them if the name already exists on the other one. Okay, great. Awesome. Does it, was that helpful for you guys? Okay, great. Now, any other questions? I don't have any more in my Q&A, which is great. 
Um, let me just quick jump over to chat and see if we've got anybody sneaking into chat. No, it looks like that's clear too. Great. Awesome. Well, guys, it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure talking to you guys tonight. I hope that was very helpful to you. Um, Gwendolyn, oh, I got another question. Gwendolyn, hi, Eric. We have a list of contacts that have the contact's birthday on the... I'm not sure. Gwendolyn, I think you got cut off, but here's the good news is we, we do have a birthday report coming into Teams in the next couple of weeks, so you will be able to pull a birthday report. Personally, the reason why we don't have a birthday report up till now is because um, Facebook does such a great job of telling you whose birthday it is that I just felt like it was kind of redundant, but we're doing it because people keep asking for it. So that's coming up. Tanya says, yes, helpful. They're all different. No duplicates. That's great. Uh, Rachel says, will this be posted somewhere? I jumped in late. Rachel, um, we're actually streaming live right now to the Teensy Facebook page. So if you go to the Teensy Facebook page in five minutes, you'll find the video there as soon as, it, as soon as I say it's cool for them to upload it. You can start from the beginning there. Um, and then by tomorrow, we'll put it up on our YouTube page as well. Okay, great. Thank you guys so much for coming tonight. I hope this was helpful to you. We are so honored to have you as part of our Teensy family. Um, a couple action steps for you as you go through your free trials, if you're in a free trial, is make sure that you get a, a success partner to do your free trial with you for 30 days. It makes it so much better. And what you do with your success partner is, uh, first of all, commit to work with each, each other to work through your 30-day free trial and really, really use the system. But what I want you to do is when you complete your daily action steps and you get that 100% you crushed it message on Teamsy, take a screenshot of that and message it over to your success partner. Do it every day. You will get so much out of this. Now, if you guys are already in a free trial, um, I suggest you that you start your, get your subscription set up now so that when the free trial ends, you don't miss a beat. You won't actually be, be charged until the free time's up, but you can lock it in now so that you don't lose access when that free time kicks off. So thank you guys again for being here. Appreciate it. Appreciate you spending some time with me tonight. God bless you and have a great night.